We are hot and recording. All right. Nice. I think I believe I go first. That we're hot for the cameras. You said, hot. you said we're hot and recording? Hot yeah. and recording. Is this... Is this uh, it's going to be one of those streams. Get the hot tubs yeah. ready. Is this stream <laughs> hot and ready? It's Little Caesars over here. Fuck. Yep. <laughs> All right. I'm keeping my hand. <gasps> my yellow cards go with my yellow duck. Yep. All right. I too am keeping my yeah. hand. I'll be keeping mine as well. And mm -hmm. Sean, I think you're up first. All right, I'm gonna draw. Big old twenty. Chris, Chris, were you good with your hand? Uh, sure. <laughs> <It's> sure. <laughs> All right. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and play a war room. It is a colorless land that tapped for colorless. It has a pay three and tap, pay life equal to the number of colors in your commander colors identity and draw a card. Since my commander does not have color, I don't have to pay the three. Oh, shoot. Or I mean, I'm sorry, I don't have to pay the life. I tap one, play a soul ring. And that is going to be my turn. Pass. All right. My turn. Draw. I'm going to go ahead and play this planes and pass. Your All turn. Right. <laughs> okay, I will go ahead and play Frost Boil Snar, which is a dual land uh, or island mountain. It enters Godfield tapped unless I can um, <clears throat> reveal a island or mountain card from my hand, which I can't. So, tap it is. End of turn. Oh, sorry, I didn't draw. There it is. End of turn. <laughs> Alright, I will draw. I will play a Halimar Depths. The DTB is tapped. I'll look at the top three cards of my library, put them back in any order, and then I will pass. Okay, untap and draw. I will play a Mage Ring Network. Tap the soul ring in the two colorless lands and play a Hedron Archive. It taps for two. Um, and that's going to be that turn. Ooh. Fancy. Run. All right. Let's see. And I will go ahead and play the swamp. And I will pass. Okay. Um, tap, draw. <clears throat> um. Temple of Triumph. It enters battlefield tapped. When it enters battlefield, scry one. Um, so I will go ahead and do that. I will go ahead and keep that card there. Um, and it me with one. And I'll end my turn. Alright. Untap. Draw. Play an island. I will... Tap two and play uh, the reality chip. You may look at the top card of my library at any uh, time. As long as it's attached to a creature, I may play lands and cast spells from the top of my library, and it has reconfigure three. And I will pass. That was weird. But okay, I will untap and draw. I will play a CK Wreckage, and then um, it will tap for a two, four, five, six, and play the commander, Zolodog. Void Garger, um, and I will pass from there. Nice, very nice. I shall draw. 
we shall play this planes. All right, we'll go ahead and tap two and swap and play Dark Imposter. Uh, two two vampire assassin um, has all activated abilities, all creature all creature cards exiled with it, and then if I pay four and two black, exile target creature and put a plus one plus one counter on him, and that'll be my turn. Storm Carved Coast. It's an island mountain. It enters battlefield tapped unless you control two or more other lands, which I do. <clears throat> and then I will go ahead and. Go ahead and tap one, two. Or a thought vessel, which is you have no maximum hand size and it taps for a colorless. And then I will tap one colorless, one blue. Or time beetle, it's a <clears throat> it's a creature, one one. It has skulk. Uh, the creature can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. And then it also has a second ability of whenever Time Beetle deals combat damage to a player, time travel. Um, travel For each suspend card you own and each permanent you control with a time counter on it, you may add or remove a time counter. And that will be the end of my turn. Alright. Heck yeah. I will untap, uh, go to my draw step and then in respond to my own draw I'm going to tap one and trickery charm to look at the top four cards of my library put them back in any order okay because Sean is doing some gross things over there I don't know if you guys are oh no I already know I have this deck as well yeah it's upgraded but I, I, I'm so fully gonna, aware that we're going to go dig in here we're going to put that on top. Going to go to draw. I'm going to play an island. And uh, I will pass with two blue mana up. Okay. I'm going to untap. <laughs> and draw. Ooh. He ain't scared of no blue. De -de 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 -de. I'm going to play a waste. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm going to pay two, four, four. six, and eight, and attempt okay. to play a Platinum Imperium. Okay, what is that? Let me see. It's, an, to... it's an eight, okay. eight. My life total cannot change. Okay, and in it, response, okay. I look at the top card of my library. Deal. <laughs> Anyone else have a response? Yeah. <laughs> Screw you. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's going to proc the commander here, which will have Cascade, Cascade for eight. Yep. So, the first thing I will get is all is dust. Each player sacrifices all permanents that they control that are one or more colors. <laughs> oh boy. So that will get cast. You said all permanents that are what? One, One or, or more, more colors. colors. Okay, so, so artifacts here. that don't have a color stay. And then the second cascade will be. That doesn't count for lands, though, right? No, lands do not technically have colors. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Second one's going to be a bitter thorn. This is animus. Has a legendary artifact equipment uh, that has a living weapon. When this equipment enters the battlefield, create a zero zero black Phyrexian thing. Okay. Phyrexian germ. Um, equipped creature will get plus one plus one. And whenever equipped creature attacks, you may search your library for a basic land card. Put that card in the battlefield tap and shuffle your deck. 
I will then move into combat and swing the commander at Ian. Alright, in response, I will look at the top of my library again <laughs> and, uh, yeah, take eight damage. Or, however, what is that, six? Seven. 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 And okay. that's commander damage. I, yep, 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 yep. Ian, can you flip your board? Yeah. No, 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 no. the button on the top of your uh, screen, it's the, the ellipses, the three dots. Click that. You can and do it. Click. I'm sorry. You can flip his board on your side, Chris. Oh, I can? Yeah. Yeah, you can click oh, the three and do the same thing. Yeah. I thought we had to do that ourselves. Nope. nope. And with that, I will pass my turn. Um, so okay. You can go there. Okay. So Girl. Play a planes for the turn. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Well, I will go ahead and pass. I've got nothing. Yeah, I'll draw. Might be a two game night here, Sean. Might be. It's feeling pretty good over here, guys. Let me let me tell you, I didn't see too much coming up in the next four cards that really made me go, uh, ooh. <laughs> Hold on one second. I'm reading the card and see if I want to play this one. I swear it has like a whole huge paragraph of text. Magic sure. is uh, slowly becoming Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm -hmm. But better. Yu-Gi-Oh is pretty good. Apart from mm -hmm. everyone plays one turn kill decks. Yeah, I was going to say, my problem with Yu-Gi-Oh when I was playing with my cousin was that it was literally just like one turn. Yep. So basically, basically Yu-Gi-Oh is for like people who really, really, really like playing on the stack in Magic. <laughs> because that's basically all it is. <laughs> it's like you get one turn and it's just over. I'm going to play Glacial Fortress, which enters battlefield tapped unless you control a plains or an island that can tap for a red or a blue. Um, and then I will go ahead and... Do you mean white and blue? What did I say? Red and blue. Oh, I think I said plains and blue. I meant plains and island. Yeah, white and blue. Sorry. Um, and then I'll go ahead and tap two. Bring out Talisman of Creativity, which taps for colors, or I can tap it for blue or red, but then it will deal one damage to me. I will then tap for colorless, colorless, and red that doesn't matter um to bring out rotating fireplace because it costs three colorless when it is battlefield <clears throat> oh whoops when it is battlefield um it enters tapped with a time counter on it i'll just use a uh, dice with one as time counter um i can tap it and add an amount of colorless mana equal to the number of time counters on it i could pay four and tap it which then allows me to time travel which I can only do as a sorcery. Um, time travel lets me uh, add or take away time counters on each card. Add or take away a time counter. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. And then I'm all tapped out, as you see. So that's the end of my turn. All right. I'll untap, draw, play Castle Vantress for turn. It ETBs tapped unless I control an island, which I do. Mm -hmm. Um... It just lets me scry. I'm going to tap four mana. And I'm going to play Wonder. Mm -hmm. uh, it's flying as long as it's in a graveyard and I control it in island, all my creatures have flying. And I will pass the turn. Okay. Untappy. 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 I will draw. 
I will play a waste for turn. I will then tap a soul ring to play a scroll rack. I will then tap that waste I just played to tap the scroll rack, choosing three cards. So I will put those to the side, draw three cards, put those in my hand, and I will put these back in any order. I'm fine with that order. Cool. Um, then I will tap another one to play a Voltic Key. It is an artifact that has a tap it and pay one to untap an artifact. So we are going to, at that point, tap this and one to equip this equipment to the commander, making it an 8-4. Um, I'm going to tap this war room. No. I'm going to tap this for its second effect paying... I can't pay three. Uh... Okay, tap this, the tap this, putting one counter on this, uh, it's a storage counter. Um, there will be a time where I can tap it to remove storage counters for more colorless. Um, I will then move into battle. Um, Chris, I'm going to swing at you with the commander, it is an 8-5. And then Daniel, I'll swing at you with an 8-8. Ooh, in response, tap one and a one, play Dawn Charm, uh, choose one, I'm choosing prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Okay, um, well that helps Chris out, um, I still get an attack trigger from the equipment of finding a basic land and putting it into play tap, so I will go ahead. Remember this day, Chris! This germ dies, because it's... At no point did you ask me if I wanted that. <laughs> that is going to end my turn. So you can go hey, ahead and take your keeping turn. us alive. You said you that don't know my turn? Story. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Alright, I'm happy. Draw. I mean, unless you want sweet release of death, Chris, then... Possibly. <laughs> Does anyone want to tell me where the tap... Or, I'm um, not tap. Cut. <laughs> tap the middle. Tap. I want you to tap the whole thing. Yeah, just mid. Just mid. It's fine. Okay. Um, there it is. We... Shit. Um, gonna go ahead and... Yeah. Here they're dead. Go ahead and bring my commander out. And that's it. That's all I got. Pass. Oh. Not looking good for a lot of us here. I know, right? We are. Yeah. We are in dire screwed. <laughs> and, he, and he just stacked the deck. Does uh does scroll royal scroll rack come with that precon, Sean? No, that's no. a card I added. Okay. Yeah, I have that in mind as well. I need it for this deck because the commander's whole theme is playing off the top of library, so it's one of the, the final upgrades I've yet to get. You still have your sensei's divining top in there too, Sean? Um no, I think that one is in my mirror deck. I think. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. Bring out Judon Enforcers, which is a 
It has trample. No more than one creature can attack you each combat. It has suspend six, which I'm not doing to suspend, and it's an eight eight. Nice. Dang. I'm doing that one. Actually, I'm going to tap this planes and keep my blue open, and I'm going to leave that there, and that's the end of my turn. Yeah. Just a rhino pointing up and just right, good. Draw. <laughs> Yeah, the the Ju the Judons are funny because they go do da boom ah. They speak in a weird tongue. It's quite hilarious. <clears throat> I'm gonna tap four to tap Castle Vantress and Scry two. Scry to what? Scry to cry. Yeah, pretty you said, much. You said Scry two. Scry to what? Scry to fall, scry to cry. <laughs> I wish I was scrying to something, like, to an answer here, but unfortunately, yeah. yes. we're going to have to rely on a top deck, because those are both going to the bottom there. Oh, oh God. God. I will pass. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God, we may be dead, guys. Um, Sorry, I was reading a voicemail that somehow went to text message. And it Those are always fun. It didn't make any sense, so I'm, I'm ready to enjoy that voice message when I can. All right, everything's untapped. I will draw. I need to edit the screen before I forget. Boom. All right, we're going to play a blast zone. We are then going to tap the soul ring, um, using one of that to tap this, to untap the soul ring. To tap the soul ring again, giving me three. This will be four or five. Um, six. This enters the battlefield with a counter on it. Sorry. <clears throat> so six, seven, eight, nine. Playing Phyrexian uh, Triniform. When it dies, create three colorless Phyrexian Golem artifact creatures, and it also has Encore for 12. Um, it's a 9-9, nine, nine, so that's going to proc the commander for Cascade, Cascade. First card's going to be a Mind's Eye. Whenever an opponent draws a card, you may pay one. If I do, draw a card. Uh, put that card on the bottom. And then second Cascade is going to be... An Endless Atlas. It's an artifact. I can pay two to draw a card. Activate if only I control three or more lands with the same name. So lots of draw effects there. Um, I will move into combat. I can only attack with one creature to one player. No more than one creature can attack each combat. No, no, no. Can, it says no more than one creature can attack you each you combat. You each combat. Oh, so okay. Can so only I can hit. attack yeah. other people. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can throw all of them at other people if you want. You can only hit me with one, though. <laughs> you can only hit him with one, yeah. Daniel, did you play your commander? I did, yes. Okay. Um, well, my 8-5 commander will come towards yours. Hold on. Don't make a decision yet. Okay. I was just making sure you didn't have a death touch. Um, and no, I do not have to touch. I will swing an 8-8 eight, eight at Ian. Yeah. All right. Pass How did you know I was going to block? I will block with uh, my 3-2 Wonder. You're welcome, Ian. Or 2-2 two, two Wonder. And, uh, yes, all my non-existent creatures now have flying. <laughs> um, with that being said, I He will... knew I was going to block. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. He is now dead. Um, he is now a casket. Oh boy. I'm going to tap two to tap Endless Atlas and draw a card because I definitely have three or more ways. Okay. Um, and then I will pass turn from there. Oh boy. Okay. The beginning, so he's, I blocked, he died, he's a coffin. Yep. Um, at the beginning of your upkeep, you create a one, one white and black vampire, um, and then you also put a blood counter, a bloodline counter, on him. So there is one bloodline counter, one token. Okay, dear, okay. Uh, untap. 
and draw. Um, I will tap one to use mine's eye and draw with you. Oh, good. Let's see. I will then... Let's get Titty. Um, Man, I, I will sure then tap... That pre-con runs Vandal Blast. <laughs> I will then tap one and one white. Play a Danto Vanguard. Um, as long as the Danto Vanguard is attacking, it gets plus two, plus oh, obviously not, but um, if I pay four life, he gains indestructible until end of turn. Um, and with that, I am done. I've got enough. Yeah. Do do. Interesting. Uh -oh. Okay. <clears throat> I just realized one of my board wipes is washout, which doesn't even work on Sean because it's all permanents of a specific color. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Come on, you're supposed to have no kiss. Where's the cyclonic rift? <laughs> hey man, this is this is this de deck is almost $200, and it is by far my most expensive deck. I'm a cheapskate when it comes to this game. I forgot to get my basic lane, but that's fine. I fucked up. So, I'm going okay. to play Mystic Monastery Land, which ends Battlefield Tap. I can tap for uh, blue, red, white. So, it's a triome. Um, I'm going to tap one, two, and then a white. One, two, and a white. I play a sorcery. The Wedding of River Song. Draw two cards. Then you may exile a non-land card from your hand with a number of time counters on it equal to its mana value. Then target opponent does the same. Cards exiled this way uh, that don't have suspend gain suspend, and then I can time travel, which allows me to uh, add or remove time counters. So a lot of stuff in this. So I draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Then I may exile a non-land card from my hand. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's this. Okay. And then it gets time counters equal to its value. Yeah, which is four. It's main of it. Oh, let me double check that. Make sure it's main of value is four. I think it goes down face up, right? Yeah, it's Does face it? up. Yeah, it's face up. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, so yes, it's it's four. Um, so it gets four, which I'll just put this like way over here, I guess. Okay. With four on it. Um, pound counters on it equal to its main value. Then target opponent does the same. Which opponent would like to do this? I would. Okay, you I get to do it. Like it. Yeah. All right. I will put um, cream of the crop into exile with two counters on it. Okay. Um, both of these, uh, if they don't have suspend, they gain suspend, and then I get to time travel. So, if I recall, spin, uh, suspend you remove a counter at the beginning of upkeep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I will do, since I get the time travel, that allows me to add or remove uh, counters to each permanent I control, right? So I will add one to this, so I can tap it for two, because I can tap it for two colors, or a colors per um, time counter. And in this one, I'll take one away, so it only has three. Um, okay. Then what else would I do? What do I do? And then after that, I will go ahead and go ahead and I'll tap two. Yeah, I'll tap two there, and then one, two, so it's four, five. 
bring out my commander. He's a 3-5. Oh, when you attack, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card. Put three time counters on it. If it doesn't have suspend, it gains suspend. And then it has a second ability for seven. I can just pay seven to time travel three times. And I have to activate that as a, a sorcery. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Um, Alon Z. Daniel, what do you have to block with? I have a 1-1 one, one vampire and a another 1-1 one, one vampire. However, I pay for life. The other 1-1 one, one becomes... This one becomes indestructible until end of turn. Would you be okay with losing a 1-1 one, one vampire? I mean... I suppose. What's the benefit? Hold on. Don't yeah, just what's, be like, what's... yeah, I'll lose something for nothing. Yeah. So, the reason I'm asking is because I have to attack, right? I have to attack to trigger my commander, and I have one guy I can attack with, right? Yep. If I attack you, you just block him with 1-1 one, one and nothing ha Oh, shoot. He has trample. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you you, <laughs> you can attack me. Yeah, I mean, Sean I is kind of... Uh... No, I can't oh, heal. He has a 9-9. Nine, nine. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm not attacking you, so you can block with a 9-9. Nine, nine. <laughs> I'd say it doesn't really matter. His life total can't change because of the Imperium, dude, anyway. Yep. Oh, that is true, but he would and still, still lock it. it. Yeah, yeah, he still... Uh, I gotta attack. Anyway. So, I gotta attack someone, and Daniel, I think I'm gonna attack you. Mm. You said well, a 1-1, one, a, one, one, a 2-2, two, two, and a what? No, no, just a one, 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 and he's a coffin, so he can't really do anything. So I'll block with the token. It's a one, one. It does have lifelink. It does have lifelink. That hey, do they both have lifelink? Because you should block with both of them. <laughs> no, no, only the one has lifelink. Okay, so you only lose six instead of seven. Yes. Um, and then since I did that, whenever you attack, exile cards from top of your library until you exile a non-land card. That's a land. That's a non-land. There we go. And then put three time counters on it if it doesn't have a suspend, which it does not. So this will come over here. These both have three time counters. Um, and then if it doesn't have suspend, it gains suspend. Um, this is just an exile, I guess, my land. Exile cards, yeah. So this this card right here got exiled. So this is just off the board, I guess. Uh, yep, you just exiled it. It's gone. Yeah, that's that's going to be the end of my turn. Wow. Wow. Don't forget your suspendian. Yep. Thank you. I definitely wasn't on mute there because I'm eating sun chips or anything. Um... <laughs> Hey, we like to hear the crunch of a sun chip. No, we don't. No, we don't. Please don't. <laughs> All right. I'm eating some chips right now. How'd you know? It ain't much, but uh, we're going to tap three here and play Vesuvian Drifter. Um, got flying, may look at top of library at any time. And then at the beginning of each combat, I may reveal the top card of my library. And if it's a creature card, then this card becomes a copy of that creature card. Until end of combat. What's the first name of that? Vesuvan. V E S U V A N. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. So I clicked it and it came up as a planes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. And uh, I guess I'll tap two and play my commander as well. Um, has if I would scry a number of cards do or scry that many cards plus one, and then I pay four mana. Look at the top card of my library. Um, and if it's a Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, or Serpent, I can put it onto the battlefield. Four for and me. It's, yep. But will and you get to release the Kraken? That is that is the the theme of the deck. 
Is that the end of Hopefully, your yeah, that is. Hopefully, we will release the Kraken. I will look at the top card in my library. All right. Sean ah. will draw. Sean will play Shrine of the Vosk Gods. I can tap it for two because I definitely have more than seven lands. Um, first, Sean is going to tap Endless using the Archive. That pays for two, and I will draw a card. Um, okay. Sean is going to pay one to tap this, to untap this, tapping the soul ring, to draw another card. Okay, that's what I like to see. Um, Sean will tap Shrine for two, Blossom for one, being three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't have enough. Fuck. I don't want to hear oh. it from you, mister. Okay. So. You have plenty over there. I was going to say, he's got, he's got enough. He did not bring enough to share, is what he did. Um, Sean's going to tap he's... one and tap scroll rack. And we're going to do one, two, three, four. The only I just, want, I just want to let you know. Every time you say, Sean's going to do this, Sean's going to do that, I just yeah. think of Elmo saying... Elmo's going to do blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm going to put those in my hand and then rearrange these how I want to. We will stick them like that. Put those on top of the deck. We will then tap two, three for Ashnod's altar. I can sacrifice a creature, and it will make two of any color. I'm sorry, two of colorless. Mm -hmm. Um. Cool. Fuck you. That's uh, move into battle. Chris, you're getting the nine nine. Uh, mm -hmm. Ian, you're mm -hmm. getting the commander. Okay. And, um. Daniel gained the eight before you design blockers. I'm gonna remember to get my basic land. Okay. Blackers? Blockers. Blackers? <laughs> Alright, I'm what? shuffling. Daniel, assign your blockers. I'm gonna pay Yep, paying four life. He's indestructible. Blocking. Okay. What is what is the card uh, that you didn't tap? What do you this right here? That's yeah, yeah. that's the equipment underneath the yeah. Zoladoc. I'm gonna block okay. it doesn't have trample, right? Uh, did the Solidoc? No, no trample. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will block with Vesuvan and it will die. Okay. And then Chris, you got an eight. You know, Chris had the nine nine. Yeah, I'll just take nine. Okay. Um, do you guys want to tell me where to cut? I would, but it wouldn't be appropriate. Because <laughs> I hate you right now. I'm going to cut. Here's good. Okay. That orange. Um, all right. Main phase two. I'm doing nothing. I'm gonna pass. Okay. All right. Before I do all that. Oh my god. Blood. Fuck me. God damn. Bloodline. Get Language. No, I can say fuck all I'm I want. Draw. And let's see what we got here. I recorded my whole turn looking at Ian's playmat. <laughs> Beautiful. Look look at how my lands are even both like tapped opposite ways. It's gonna infuriate someone. Tap one. Oh, um Daniel, did you draw? Sorry. Gonna, I did. I'm gonna draw with you using mind's eye. I did draw. Okay. So of course I had draw it was my draw step. Tap one and a black. We're going to play Blood Crazed Paladin. Um, when he enters, and he has Flash, but I didn't have until just now. Um, he, when he enters the battlefield, he enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it for each creature that died this turn. Um, I don't think any creatures died. Not this so, turn. <laughs> not this turn. So, nothing there, but he's a 1 1. 
so no biggie. Um, and then I cry a little. Not really. Um, doesn't really matter. Can't do much. Um. Yeah, I'll go ahead and I will pass. Can't wow. Okay. Um, I will draw. Does that trigger something for Sean? Yes. In response, I'm going to sacrifice the 9-9. Nine, nine. That's going to create three, three, three Phyrexian golems. Let me... Uh, you said it. three, three, threes? Yes. Um, I'm sacking them to the altar, giving me two colorless, um, and that's going to allow me the tap one to draw with you, so I will do that. Okay. Uh, I'm removing some time counters from these. Okay. That's all I'm okay. doing, so... I drew and I untapped. Um... Okay. I'm going to bring out Brings the Lore Clock Tower, which is a legendary land. I tap it for a blue and I put a time counter on it. I can pay to and tap and remove 12 time counters from it. And exile it, shuffle your graveyard and hand into your library, then draw seven cards. Activate only if you control Time Lord. Yeah, Trenzalore Clock Tower. Yeah. Um, That's cool. Well, yeah, interesting. Interesting. Do they have Let's... the other Clock Tower in that deck? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't. This is my first time playing it, and I didn't look through all the cards. I'm what really playing it blind. Uh, oh, that untaps too. Um, let's see. Let's see. Well, the reason Trenzalore Clock Tower is in that deck is because the deck also has the eleventh and the eleventh Doctor in there. He basically got stuck in on Trenzalore. Um, got a question? Because yeah, I don't. I don't know vehicles that well. If you play a vehicle, it comes out as a vehicle. When you first play it, does it have summoning sickness if you crewed it on that turn? Correct, yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Because it becomes a creature. And, and okay. the rule with summoning yeah. sickness is if it's the first turn the creature's been in the battlefield, it has summoning sickness. So so, so the rule does specify first turn, not, not when it's first been casted. You could, it's use, cast you could say cast it or first turn. Um, I mean, yeah. I, I don't know what the exact verbiage of the rule is, but either of those Basically, ideas are the same. Basically, you thing. have to... I think it's just you have to hit your upkeep. Well, because the reason why I ask is because if it specifies casted, it gets casted as an artifact and not as a creature. That's why I'm saying, does it say first turn and does it say it's, casted? So it's... If a creature exists on the battlefield and it's the turn it came out, it has summoning sickness. So whether it okay. starts so out it as an say, artifact. Yeah, so it doesn't say anything about casting. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and one, two, uh, three, four. Pay for and tap this to time travel, uh, which what I will do since I'm time traveling is I'll take one away from these so they only have one. So that means next turn I get to use both these cards. Um, and then... Time travel again. What? Nothing. Keep going. You said I can time travel again. Yeah, if you time travel using some other card that time travels... Oh, I don't yeah. know if you have that, but I'm guessing yeah. it's filled with it. Yeah, only when I attack it. Or no, that's not. No, that's not what it does. Uh, this one will go up to three, though. Mm -hmm. But it's um, those are tapped. Sorry, they're not really moved over that far. And then I'll go ahead and tap 
I'm going to keep a blue open. And I'm going to tap these four, one red, and whatever else. To bring out RMS Titanic, which is a legendary <laughs> artifact vehicle, flying yes. vehicle. When RMS Titanic <laughs> deals combat damage to a player, sacrifice it and create that many treasure tokens. I can crew it for three. Um, and then... Uh, what do you got, Sean? You got three, three, threes? Yes. It's the space Titanic. Yeah. I'm going to have to not do anything this turn. Chris, what's the space Titanic name? Is it space Titanic? R RMS. RMS Titanic. Okay. All right, two people talk there. Chris, what's the card? RMS Titanic. It doesn't focus when I get that close. So, did you find it? I'm finding it. That's fine. You can continue. I already ended my turn. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I will untap, upkeep. I will remove the last counter and play Cream of the Crop. Whenever a creature comes into play under my control, I may look at the top X card of my library, where X is that creature's power. If I do, I put one of them on top and the rest on bottom. Can you, Ian, that that card that you just mentioned there, the cream of the crop, oh. can, you, can you put Macho Man Randy Savage's picture on there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ian, okay, um, so, on your draw step, I'm sacrificing the Phyrexian Golem. Getting I'm going to yeah. reveal what I just drew because it is actually very relevant. It's okay. a miracle card. Uh, it's Temporal Mastery, which will let me take an extra turn for two mana. Okay. Um, so... Are you casting it? I think I'm going to do the saddest... I might just do the saddest one you've ever seen just to draw a card here. <laughs> I think I will, because I don't really have any other plays right now. Nothing that's relevant. You can do it. Yeah, I'm going to Temporal Mastery and uh, go to my end step. Untap. All right. Upkeep draw. Cool. What turn? Also useless. Um, cool, I'm just going to play out the enchantments that I have. Did you draw um, for your second turn? Yes. Okay, I'm yeah. sacking drawing with you. Okay, and I'm going to play Quest for Ula's Temple, which, beginning of upkeep, I look at the top card of my library. If it's a creature, I put a counter on this, and then if uh, it has three or more counters on it, I can put Krakens into play from my hand at every end step. Oh. Ooh. And then I will tap... F eh, never mind. I'll pass. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Untap. Untap. Untapping everything. I like that confidence, Ian. Let's make sure people can see what I'm doing on my turn. Instead no, we don't care about your Ian, turn. Yeah, no. Ian was showing off his hands. He's a hand model. All right. That's Sean's right. going to draw for turn. Um, Sean is going to play a waste. Sean is Sean's then going to get to wrecked. Tap one to tap Solrak. He is choosing one. So I will draw one. And then I will put this on top. Okay. Um, I'm going to tap two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. To play Ulmog of the Infinite Ire. Mm hmm. Um, <laughs> Cascade, Cascade will go into effect. And the card I just put in my hand is Kozilek, the Great Distortion, which is 10. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Before he comes out, I need to do Ulmog's effect. Um, when you cast this card, uh, destroy target permanent. I'm going to go ahead and destroy Chris's uh, fireplace. My what? Your fireplace. 
Which one's my fireplace? Look at your fucking card. <laughs> it's the one with the three counter on it. You know, the thing that's oh. time skipping your fireplace. The rotating, the rotating fireplace? Yeah, yeah, the yes. card that says fireplace. <laughs> yeah, I don't have rotating a card that says fireplace. fireplace. I have a card that says rotating judge, fireplace. Judge, he said Borborygmos, judge. <laughs> um, oh. All You're right. choosing the like rotating fireplace. Yes, the rotating fireplace. Yes. All right. So now Kozilek will come out. Um, and it says, when I cast a spell, that doesn't matter because it's entering the battlefield, I can discard a card with a manning value X and counter target spell that is X. Um, that's important because I have to have the exact amount. I can't like, do more encounter something less okay um that being said i am sacking this for two two three four five son of a bitch okay sacking this for two to tap Volcanic Key, to untap Soul Ring, tapping Soul Ring, I now am floating three, and then this will be four, five, six, playing Calamity of Titans, uh, it's a sorcery, and as an additional cost to cast a spell, a show a colorless creature in my hand. I will show you guys Metalwork Colossus, it's a 10-10. Um, each creature, exile each creature in Planeswalker with menu value less than the revealed card's mana value. That's 10, or that's 11. Exile? Exile each creature, menu value less than 11. Well, son of a bitch. Um, okay. That gets exiled. My commander will go back in my command zone. Okay. Um, I will move into my battle step. Um, Chris, you're going to take seven or eight commander damage. Um, well, you'll have a chance to respond. I'm swinging him your way. Ian, I'm swinging the eight eight your way. I will okay. do my attack trigger. Um, of getting a basic land. All right, you guys can proceed. You you said how much was it for me? It's an eight four commander. I thought he was a seven four. He has an equipment on him that's allowing me to get basic lands. And that gives him a plus one plus zero. Plus one plus one. So he's an eight five. Yes, that's an eight four. Yes, he's eight five. Yeah. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me uh. Uh, Daniel, where should I cut? Mm. One third of the bottom. Okay. Alrighty. Um, so you guys take damage, Ian? Yep. Yep, took eight. Okay. Um, that is my turn. Alright, upkeep. That create token... I forgot and to do that second cascade, cascade. That's fine. Keep oh, it. too late now, yeah. buddy. <laughs> Mr. Traeger. Guys, I only got two Eldrazi on the board. This <laughs> is back to back Eldrazi. I'm so excited for that. <laughs> that was so good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tap one black and play Innocent Blood. What does that do? Each player sacrifices a creature. I will sacrifice my token. Um, hold on. Uh, what's its mana value? One. One? <laughs> One. I don't want to sacrifice a creature, so I'm going to discard <laughs> Sensei's Divining Top to counter that. You get Kozilek, countered. Kozilex effect. Uh, and then that shows you, Daniel. I do have Sensei's Defining Top in the deck still. There you go. 
Oh lord, I tried. Um, with that, I got nothing. I pass. Chris? Yeah, I was reading something. Reading about how Sean's a dick? Yeah, I know. It's fascinating. <laughs> Only We're over here trying to play player. casual. He's over here just like, blah, 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 blah. Come on, we haven't had any interaction. That's on us. So we've these been, become... we've been swinging for like six turns here. On the so these board. lose their suspend or time counters. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at you, blue player, man. Like, do I have to? Do I have to use them now, or can I wait till like my second main phase? Like, you can just cast them whenever, right? I don't have to do it right away. I I think you. <clears throat> I think it might be a trigger when you remove the last time counter. I just did. I removed the last time counter on. Them, so and that I means. Think, I think they get casted. I, yeah, they get casted cast right cast them. Yeah. So what, then that becomes. What? What's the mana value of that? The mana value of this? Yes. Four. You lucky son of a bitch. Okay. I'm not done. This one also comes out. Do you want to know the mana value of that? Yes. Five. Oh, 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 oh. You lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, anyways. Take uh, counter fours and fives, guys. We're safe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, the creature has double strike whenever it deals combat damage to a player. It explores, which means I reveal top card of my library. Put that card into my hand if it's a land. Otherwise, put a plus one, plus one counter on this creature. Um... This other card is a saga card. Uh, the first, second, and third sagas, or whatever you call the steps in a saga. Um, article? Are they called articles of a saga? Uh, chapters. Uh, chapters? Chapters? Yeah. yeah. So the first, there's four chapters. The first three are the same. It's exile cards from top of your library until you exile a leg legendary card. You may play that card for as long as the Day of the Doctor remains on the battlefield. Put the rest of these, those cards exiled at the bottom of your library uh, in a random order. And the fourth one says, choose up to three Doctors. You may exile all other creatures. If you do, the Day of the Doctor deals 13 damage to you. Oh. Yeah. So, I mean, I can just kill myself with that. Uh, nice. But you know. What... Does it come in with chapter one, or is it one of those sagas that you can choose the chapter? As it enters, and after you draw, yeah. As it as the saga enters, and after you draw your draw step, okay. add a lore counter on it. Sacrifice yeah, after four. It, yeah, it doesn't have well, to read ahead. Um, before triggering that, I do want to play a land because I didn't do that, so I'm going to tap. I'm going to play a land, which I have tap one, uh, pay one, tap this, and I get a white and a blue. So that's my land. I only have one card in my hand. I'm going to, I guess, trigger this because... Uh, hold on. John, what do you have out here? you got a bunch of creatures. I have four creatures. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven artifacts. And a ship. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. So, wouldn't he actually have two counters on the, uh, uh, the saga there? Because uh, the, he cast them during his upkeep when he removed the counter, and then he drew? No, I drew I drew on my upkeep. I didn't cast them on my upkeep. Or, yeah, yeah, I did because he's, he had the time yeah, counter. Would, it would yeah. come out and do effect one, and then on Yeah, the and then you draw and you get it to effect but no, two. No, no, but if if I have multiple triggers on my upkeep, I decide the order of my upkeep, right? Well, you're... Oh, yeah, yeah. Draw step was after the upkeep, I get yeah, what you're saying. Right, right, right. Yeah. So he's on two. I'll put a thing on him so we know. So it's at chapter two on this turn, and then when it comes next turn, it'll be chapter three. Um, okay, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Um. So did you do the effect twice? I haven't done the effect yet at all. Okay, do the resolve the first effect. Yeah. <laughs> Which is going to be the saga. Exile cards from top of your library until you exile a legendary card that is not legendary. 
That is not what I'm in there. That is not. Nay, legendary card. There we go. <clears throat> um, you may play that card for as long as this this card is on the battlefield. Uh, I got to put these back on the bottom of my library in random order. This looks pretty random to me. If you agree. Yep. Yep. Okay. okay. Um. Let's see. Let's see. What what I do? What will I do? Uh, that does not have summoning sickness. What do you have untapped, Sean? You have a 10 10 and a what? A 12 12 and a 10 10. The 10 10s are indestructible. I think it does have summoning sickness. No, it would come in during or the what? upkeep phase. Okay. Um, no, it doesn't have summoning sickness because it oh because it came from exile, and it was exiled with time counters. Oh, I see what you're saying because it came in from exile, so this would be the first turn that it's no longer in exile and it's on the field. Yeah, I see. I'm not sure about that actually. Yeah, because there's well, there's another commander. You can't. There's a commander that removes time counters, but he specifically gives them haste when they take it off, which makes me wonder if they don't get it normally. Mm. Um, Sean, do you have any enchantments? No. Okay. Well, all right. One, two, three. Four, five, oh, uh, this gets time counter. Six, six. Farewell. Exile all artifacts, all creatures, all enchantments, all graveyards. What's I will the choose. What's the mana value of that? Six. I'll choose everything except for um, enchantments. So all the facts, creatures, and graveyards are exiled. You fucking dick. Now, come on. Look what Sean has. I just helped yeah, you out. Yeah, I was going to say, like... Hey, we, we, I'm, I'm, I'm mana starved right now. I, I don't have any mana. To... Oh, wait, wait. Sean, you got a response? No. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's what you get. Because now I, I can't cast anything. So everything but enchantment, right? Yep. Creatures, artifacts, and graveyards. Oh, damn. That is... That is a rough card. Uh, um, just like the art. If you've seen the show, that's that's like a, a very oh, yeah, yeah. moment. The, the farewell I don't art. want to go yet. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Um, He's coming so back. With that small. being said, the reason I didn't do enchantments is because I have enchantment right here that lets me cast this card. Um, so I will go ahead and play this card. Okay. Idris, Soul of the Tardis. She has mana of three. What does that do for you? Oh, nothing, because you got everything exiled. Um, <laughs> three, three with vanishing three. Damn. Um, when Idris, Soul of the Tardis, enters the battlefield, exile another artifact you control until Idris leaves the battlefield, which I don't have another artifact, so I don't exile that. Um, Idris has all activated and triggered abilities of the Exile card and gets plus X plus X where X is Exile card's mana value. So that doesn't work. So I just have a 3-3 three, three right there. Um, did, you, and then, did you activate the second Saga ability yet? This? Yeah. Did you do that twice? Nope. What was the second card you exiled? No, I didn't. Okay, so go ahead and and do that. Yeah, because yeah, you still. It, yeah, that's. It has to be a legendary. You just want me to burn my de deck or something? He's... Legendary. Oh, man, like, it's card. It's card advantage for you. This is like really, really good for you. Yeah, I'm surprised Sean said anything though. I'm trying to figure out why. Is that random enough or? That's yeah, good. that's good. Back at the bottom. Um, 
You may play that card for So I guess since I have the second one, I get to play this one too. Um, this one has Soulbound. You may pair this <clears throat> creature with another unpaired creature. When either enters the battlefield, they remain paired for as long as you control it, which I don't have it paired, so that doesn't matter. Whenever Donna or a creature it's paired with is dealt damage, Donna deals that much damage to target opponent. Um, this is a Doctor's a Companion, but that doesn't matter. So if you do damage to it, I can do that much damage to you. Uh, and then that's the end of my turn. All right. I'll untap, keep draw. Um, actually, can I uh, reveal the card that I drew for the Ula's upkeep? Uh, sure. That I mean, I technically missed the trigger, but um, it was a Sword Coast Serpent. So that'll put a 1-1 counter on Quest for Ula's Temple. Uh, this is one of the adventure things. It's uh, a two-mana bounce at instant speed, and then it's a, also a 6-6 six, six with can't be blocked mm -hmm. as long as I've cast a non-creature spell. Okay. And... I can't really do a lot, actually. Yes, we're just going to tap 4 and try and get my commander out. And then I will pass. Okay. Uh, tap. I will tap, I mean, lay a land, um, this taps for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, playing Cityscape Leveler, it's an 8-8 eight, eight trample, when I cast this spell, and whenever Cityscape Leveler attacks, destroy up to one target non-land permanent. Its controller creates a tapped Power Stone token. I will go ahead and target... Chris's Saga. Okay. You said it destroys it? It will destroy it. You get a Power Stone that you can only use to tap for or pay for artifacts with. Okay, I, I'll put that right there as a power stone. It's an exile card turned backwards. Okay, um, I will then tap one, two, for swift boots, swifty boots. Tapping one to equip for cityscape. Um, the abyss. Sean oh, uh, is going to swing at Ian. Hey, real, real quick, since this card has vanishing, I'm putting it has vanishing three. I'm putting a three on there. Every upkeep, I have to take one away, and then when it goes to zero, that card goes away. Yep. Okay. Uh, swinging at Ian, attack trigger will go off. Ian, I'm going to destroy. What What do you have on the battlefield? Uh, so I've got my commander. I've got the cream of the crop which lets me like basically scry however many toughness that creature is and then every time i play a creature spell and put one on top uh and then i have one that lets me reveal cards um from the top of my library during my upkeep if i choose to do so and if it's a creature card i put a counter on it if it has three or more counters on it i get to put a big creature in for free from my hand at the end of every end step we'll we'll destroy that thing with okay. the counter on it <laughs> that's uh probably a good choice okay and then you have an 8-8 eight, eight coming your way okay it has trample it does okay i will take eight okay um that's all i can do i will pass oh i can't draw fuck me run um yep and pass <laughs> what? No, I'm dead serious. I have. That's why I said you. You kind of fucked me. I have no mana at all. I don't know. It sounds like you were screwed from the beginning of this game, man. <laughs> no, no, I was doing great. So this goes down one. Um, <laughs> it still killed me. That card is called Cream of the Crop. All I hear in my head is I'm the Cream of the Crop. 
Ooh, yeah. Normally pretty good. The problem is I went and dug for answers and didn't find any instead of playing to advance my board state, and now I am uh, regretting my choices. That's all right. But... Um, you said the Power Stone I can tap for artifacts and what? Um, it, you can tap it to pay for artifacts or uh -huh. uh, pay it for artifact abilities. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, okay, I would cap. Hold on. Let me see if I have a power stone laying around here. Well, I'm pretty sure that Sean's just going to keep targeting me with that stupid uh, cityscape leveler guy, so... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Make money moves. I don't have money moves, man. Um, I'm just going to move into my battle step. Um, swing at Sean with a 2, 4, and a 3, 3, which he can't block. So, 5? Yep. Done. Yay. Um, someone finally did some damage to you this game. Um, and then I'm going to um, I will end my turn. All right. <clears throat> Untap, upkeep, draw, play a forest. Uh, I'm going to move to combat, hit Sean for one. <laughs> is it commander? It is commander. It's going to be super relevant. Kinesis commander damage. And I will pass. Okay. Untappy, 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 untappy. Draw. Oh. I don't know what I want to do, guys. I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to. Feel free to concede at any time. <laughs> That's two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. It cost nine, eight, nine. Because it costs six. No, it should cost eight now. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Commander, out. Response. Yeah. How much mana can you generate? Right now? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm gonna tap two. Well, how? What is his effect? Commander? It's only if you spell. It's only when you cast spells six or greater, right? Seven or greater. Seven or greater, yeah. and you can only make five mana right now. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's fine. Oh, he plays. Okay, he gets cast. Um, I'm going to tap Maybe. one and give it Swifty Boots. Mm -hmm. um, move into combat. Uh, commander damage. Who has commander damage for me? Me. I got eight. Uh, Daniel, do you have commander damage for me? Nope. Okay. Um, Cityscape will swing at Chris. Um, this will swing at Daniel. Look at my commander will. Of course. Yeah. Um, Cityscape is going to... Ha what does the Soulbound effect do, Chris? Uh, 
Um, it doesn't matter because it didn't get paired. It didn't. I mean, it pairs when it ETBs. No, yeah, because so it automatically paired to your soul of targets. Yeah. Oh, I guess it did. Okay. Um, whenever a creature it's paired with is dealt damage. So if you do damage to this one, then this deals damage to you. Sorry. Yep. You may pair this creature with another unpaired creature. They remain paired. Okay, so she's not bringing anything back if it dies. That's a whole different effect. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and destroy the creature that has the two counters on it. I Idris? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you'll get a second power stone, and she will be destroyed. Um, okay. And then is that graveyard or exile? That's that graveyard. graveyard, yep. Okay, I'll uh, take another exile card as a power stone. Yep. Okay, and then, Daniel, you already took your commander, Daniel. Yep. Did you, did you hit me with, what is it? An 8-8? It's an 8-8, yes. Oh, so you're swinging at me with an 8-8. Um, well, hold on. Does your thing trigger before or after you attack? It It's an attack trigger, so it triggers okay, before... Okay, so it triggers when you attack. Yeah. Uh, okay, I guess I have to take 8. Okay. Uh, main phase 2... I am going to tap three to tap this pay life equal to the number of colors in my commander's color identity, which is no color. So I will just get the draw card. And in my turn. Awesome. I shall draw. Oh, fuck me. All right. There's a swamp. Finally. Okay, let's see. Making a little progress. Okay. That's all I needed was that swamp. Tap two. Play Gifted Aetherborn. The two, three, death touch, life link. Vampire. Oh. Oh, I hate that card on Arena. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, here it is right here. Um, and that's all I can do. Man! We got some yep. passive players today. You yep. Well, you know, I would have had a commander too, but he got wiped from the board as an artifact, so... Yeah, but at that, he was kind of a necessary sacrifice to slow that. That's true. Down. That's true. So I'm gonna you uh, tap these and. Well, he's kill still them. steamrolling right back. So really, it or artifact. Really that, that allows me to tap for a colorless. Um, I'm also going to. Oh yeah, I was looking for a power stone. Going to play um, a land there. Power stone, power stone. Where the fuck this, is it? This actually should be at two from. Never mind. I didn't do it. Don't worry about it. Are you doing some um, ass bullshit over there, Chris? Is that what I hear? Oh, what are Fuck me. Two, three, this goes to two. Three, four, five, six, seven. For my commander. And then one, two, for my other commander. Da 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 da. Oh, yeah. Rose gets plus one plus one for each time counter on it. Whenever Rose Tyler attacks, put a time counter on it for each suspend card you own and each other permanent you control with time counters on it. Um, <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? Is she that powerful in the show? Hey, Rose? No, it just sucks. No. No. <laughs> that seems ridiculous. No. This yeah. is, that art is just after she's like, that one looks like after she came back from the Parallel universe, where she was like a 
badass sort of kind of, but she's not that powerful on the show. Usually she's just, you know, whatever. Okay, continue. Um, so I I'm going to attack to trigger my commander. So I'm attacking Sean with two. Um, do you do anything with that, Sean? Just take it, or I have to take it. Just okay, when, when you attack, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card, put three time counters on it. If it doesn't have suspend, it gains suspend. That's a land. That's a land. <laughs> That's a land. Hey, non-land. Okay. Uh, this gets three time counters. Da -da -da -da, or the hell is three... Um, okay. put three time counters on it if it doesn't have suspend it gains suspend okay um, and then those go to I the guess, bottom no no they just get exiled yeah they just get exiled I just burned through my deck a little bit on this one um, Rose does not do anything because she did not attack. And then he has three time counters on him. And then... Da -da 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 -da, that's the end of my turn. Yeah. On your end step, I'm going to tap four, and we're just going to see if we get lucky with Kenesos here. We do not. Nice lane. Um, yeah, I know, right? Too bad it's not a water energy. Sean, how much mana can you generate right now? Zip zero. Okay, like, sorry, like, how many lands total do you have? Oh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One of them does tap for two, so technically I can tap for thirteen. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I will put that island on the bottom with Kenesos. Go to my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Play a tap land instead. And, uh... Yeah, there's... <laughs> Not a lot I could do here. I could have stalled the game out more by uh, bouncing, but I don't think that do it. much much. Are you gonna um, <laughs> no, I'm going to tap four, and I'm going to just... You know what? We're going to see if I can't hit one of the bounce guys. Nope. Felwar Stone. Okay. And I will pass. Untap. I promise this deck actually does cool stuff sometimes. I wish I could believe you. Yeah, I know. It's uh, not very convincing. Uh -huh. well, I don't know. This is only the second time playing this one, so I don't know what this one does. I'm going to tap that for two, three, four. I'm going to play Mystic Forge. Response. Yep. <laughs> None? Great. I may look at the top card of my library any time. I may cast an artifact spell or colorless spell from the top of my library. I can tap it to pay one life and exile the top card of my library. I'm just going to go ahead and exile that. Exile piles over there. Looking at the top card. Okay. Cool effect. Um... I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine. <clears throat> um, tapping two. One, two, to play Spartial Contortion. Target creature gets plus three, minus three until end of turn. Uh, what's the attack and power of Kinesos? One, three. It's a one, three. And what a coincidence. It gets minus three. <laughs> Um, I will then play... Actually, I do have a response. I'm sorry. I'm going to tap two. Okay. And I'm going to um, bounce it to my hand. In response, 
Yeah. I'm going to tap one, two, three. Titan's Presence. As an adjacent will cost, show a creature. Uh, for my hand, exile target creature if its power is less than or equal to the revealed card's power. Its power is 10. You're not a very nice person, Sean. I just want you to know that. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, does my Sword Coast Serpent still oh. enter exile? It enters the exile because it is advent. Oh, hold on. Is it fizzled? Right. I don't think it goes into adventure mode. You think it goes to graveyard? Yeah. Because it can't technically target it, uh, what it was trying to target. Yeah. Um, after that, I'm going to tap two to play a Mind Stone. I am going to pay one to sack the Mind Stone to draw my card. Looking at the top card. Ooh. That's a nasty one. Um, move into combat. Um, Chris, Cityscape is coming at you. And then uh, Ian, Commander's coming at you. Uh, attack trigger. Chris, it's going to destroy um, Timely Wimely Time Lord. Uh, the 10th Doctor. Okay. You will get another Power Stone. How much commander am I taking? Eight, or seven. Power Stone. Um, and with that, I will pass my turn. Hold on. And then you're attacking me with, hitting me with eight, is that what you said? Yes. Sorry. Yep. Well, it's an eight, eight I have, Yeah, so I either have to block or... Ugh! Um, hold on. One, two. Um, man, this sucks. I guess I'll... Wait, you're not I'll hitting just... him with both, right? No, I hit Ian with no. the commander. No, but he killed, he killed one commander, and I only have my other commander to defend with, and I don't... I don't want to deal with that. So uh, I'm just going to take eight. Okay. And with that, that is the end of my turn. Okie dokie. I'm going to draw. Oh, my. Okay. This is my land or off guild gate enters the battlefield tap. I'm gonna go ahead and tap two. Yes. And play Vampire Hexmage. He's at two one. She has first strike, and then if I sacrifice her, I can move all counters from target permanent. Um and then I'm going to go ahead and swing my Aetherborn at you, Sean, for two. I will take, and you will gain two. Yes. One, two. And with that, I pass. Okay. You have a card on suspend, right? Yeah, I'm about to do it. Thanks. <laughs> You might be able to convince Daniel to sacrifice his vampire to remove all all of the counters. What? He has a vampire he can sack to remove counters from a permanent. Vampire oh. has mage, so if I sacrifice her, I can remove all counters from target permanent. Oh yeah, so if you suspend something like a board wipe, you could uh, rip it off at instant speed. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's all right because this this card doesn't isn't it that good. It would be like the slowest instant speed card ever because it would have to go <laughs> into the battlefield. And then... Yeah. Yeah, but it goes into exile. Oh. Uh... So like, yeah, I guess wow. it matters, but does it really? Can you 
tar yeah, you want to be able to target it if it's an exile. I guess you yeah. Yeah. That would not work. Um, I'm gonna move into battle. Sean's tapped out. I'm gonna swing at him. It would be funny though. Uh, with with a two two and a two a two two and a two four, but when Rose Tyler attacks, put a time counter on it for each the spend card you own and each other permanent you control with a time counter on it. So she gets a time counter because I have this one that has um, that's in suspend. So she gets a time counter, which means she gets plus one plus one. Does so your, she's a. Does your clock what? down there have time counters? Oh, it does have time. So that's two. So she's now at four four, and that's a two four. So you're getting hit with four and two. You can do something if you want. So four from Rose. Yes. Okay. Yep. And then two from Donna. Six all again. Cool. Um, and so you take the six. I'll then tap one. Tap that one for a white and a blue. And then another white that's three. Play enchantment. Grasp. Fate. When Grasp of Fate enters the battlefield for each opponent, exile up to one target non-land permanent that player controls until Grasp of Fate leaves the battlefield. So, for each opponent, I'm going to um, exile a target permanent. For Sean, I'm going to take your god dang cityscape leveler because okay. <laughs> I hate it. That's it's like and uh, and then for the other guys, you guys can just choose whatever you want because <laughs> well, you can, I don't you care. Can say, you can say zero. Oh, wait. So no. To one target. Yeah. Oh, in that case, I'll, I'll be nice. And zero for both of you. <laughs> just awesome. Yeah. 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 My, my, one, my one permanent appreciates it. My cream of the crop. Randy lives on. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't matter because I'm dead after uh, Sean takes his turn. So, oh yeah, uh, which means he will get his city leveler back. Um, and then I will go ahead. Oh, I'll go ahead and put a time counter on this. And those are two separate statements. Tap it for island, and then it says period. Put a time counter on it, so I can put a time counter on it without tapping. So I'll just do that. Which, but it doesn't matter. So end of my turn. Go ahead and move this along. I mean, you still have to tap it to put a time counter on it. No, because those are two separate statements. This is tap it for island, period. And then it says put a time counter on it. That's part of the casting cost then, isn't it? The casting cost? Or what it's casting the, cost? It's, it's, the, the it's part cost. of the ability. <laughs> yeah. It, That's what I'm saying. Those are, those are two set. I mean, you can... What's you the card it. called? It's called Prenzalore, so T R E N Z A Clock Tower. -E, and then Clock oh, Tower. Got it. Okay. If it if it wasn't a part of the tap effect, it wouldn't yeah. be in the same line. It would have dropped a line below. Yeah, okay. so it's saying you pay two mana and tap it to re remove twelve. Well, well it's not. It's not. No, the, no. It's not the two. Okay. It's the first tap ability that says add water. Yeah. Put a time counter on it. So in order to put a time counter on it. You oh yeah, tap yeah. It. No, you gotta tap it. Yeah. Okay, then I'll just tap it and waste the. Um... the blue. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. But then what I'll do on, instead of tapping this, I'll just have these one, two, three. And that was for that one. So there you go. Okay. Again, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm about to get kicked out of the game. <laughs> so. All right. Uh, right. Conveniently, you are at seven. <laughs> yeah, it would be the smart move, man. I'm the only one who really, like, took away your board and, you know, did a lot of crap to you, so. Uh, how big is All my stuff's card? in there somewhere. What'd you say, Ian? How big is your stuff? It's a 7-4 with Hexproof. Okay. 
I'm gonna tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do have it. Nice. Seven to play uh, Simic Sky Swallower. It's a six six flying trample shroud. Oh. Uh, I will then uh, look at the top six cards of my library off of Cream of the Crop. Nice. Oh my god. You guys want to see the perfect turn one hand? <laughs> <laughs> Sensei's. I don't know if you can see it, but that's a land. Sensei's divining, arcane signet, um, swift foot boots. Swift foot. Yeah, like look at that. What the oh, fuck, man? Um, too bad I can only choose one. All right. Well, I will. Uh. Pass my turn. Okay. I will untap. Draw. Look at the top card. Pay one life to exile it. Here's the one life. Bonk. Um. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move to play Dark Steel Monolith. Response. Which one? Which one's Monolith? Um, it's indestructible. Once each turn, I may pay zero rather than pay the mana cost for a colorless spell you cast from your hand. Ah. <laughs> it's cast for free. I would free. love to have a response. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, Cascade, Cascade will go into an effect because it costs yep, 8. Yep. Um, I will get a Meteor Golem. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, destroy target non-land permanent and opponent controls. That's going to be Chris's enchantment. Okay. Okay, uh, when that happens, I will get back Cityscape Leveler, who has the same effect, except it gives a Power Stone. That's going to be on Ian's uh, crop thingy. Cream okay, crop. crop is the power stone. Yep, crop is the power stone now. Um, second cascade. We're not forgetting that one this time. It will be a traveler's amulet. I can pay one to sacrifice it and search the library for a basic land card and uh, put it onto the battlefield. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five. Looking at the top, it's nothing I want. Um. I'm going to tap three to tap this and draw a card, putting this into my hand. I have not played land for turn, so we will play it. It is Temple of the False God. Um, it taps for two. I'm going to tap this one waste to sack the amulet, searching for a basic land. There's a waste. Um, I may reveal it, put it into my hand. I will do that. Um, I will then sh shuffle my deck because I searched it. Giving me a new card on top. Cut. Where should he cut? Uh, I don't know. Quarter way from the top. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Top card is going to be a fucking land. <laughs> land, 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 land. <laughs> Alright, move into combat. Or, no. Sorry. Tap this. Switching over Swifty Boots over to the leveler. Uh, then go into combat. Um, commander will go to Chris. Uh, the 8-8 eight, eight leveler will go towards Ian. Um, I have to destroy a permanent. It's going to be one of your islands. <laughs> oh, wait. Take... Up to one target non-land. Yeah, um, I was going to say. I guess it's going to be uh, the... The fucking power stone. It's literally no. the only thing you... 
I'll destroy uh, Daniel's death touch. Oh, it doesn't have to be mine? No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, that's... Daniel, you'll Gross. get a power stone. Um, so you're you're getting me a 7-7? Seven, seven? A 7-4, seven seven. yes. I'm going to tap these four. Okay. I'll go down. And I will play down. the uh, FU card. Yeah? Power stone. No, just kidding, I'm out. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, Daniel, you do have... Or, I'm sorry, Ian, did you take eight? Yes. Okay. Um, that is my turn. Awesome. Untap. Draw. Play this command tower. Okay. Maybe not to see. One, two. Four. And these two. And then... This will make sense. Tap this. I'm playing Blood Tribute. Um, it has Kicker, so tap and untap Vampire you control, which I did. Uh, target opponent loses half his or her life. Round it up. If Blood Tribute was kicked, you gain life equal to the life lost this way. Wow. Okay. Uh, so right John, my up. boy. You you can do one damage John, to me if you really want to. <laughs> it would be hilariously petty. So half oh, of no. 25 is going to be 13 and 12, so round, rounded up would be 13, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, light, yeah, rounded up, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You get All right, 13. and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. All right. And believe it or not, that's all I had to do. Right? <laughs> it was just gain enough life, and right. that, that was my turn. turn. I mean, Pass. I mean, uh, Ian can, could kill me. But he could if he had something to. <laughs> Too bad his creature has shroud, and he can't buff it up. I know, right? You can't give it like double strike and like take him out. I guess an enchantment would work if it was like all creatures get. Yeah. We're gonna tap one to play senseis. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna tap one to look at the top three. Well. Yeah, things are, uh. No mocks? Not looking great, no. <laughs> All right. There's literally nothing I can do. I can... I mean, you Have deal four. enough damage to me. Yeah, I can deal. I mean, uh, I'm going to swing six at you, Sean. Uh, with my trample shroud. Yeah. Sorry. I go to combat and I do that, but I don't think you can do much to target him. I can't lock him. him, right? He has shroud. Uh, he has, uh, I mean, he, if you have a flyer, you can. Oh. Yeah. He has oh, shroud, shroud not... is, can't be targeted. Okay, yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't have a flyer the block, so. Okay. And then I will tap four, and I will play, uh, one of the cards that I've been holding this entire time, uh, Levitation, which is pointless, since I had <laughs> I wonder. wonder. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I will pass. Okay. And, yeah, right. Um... Is that eight? eight? I will draw an Eldrazi temple. <laughs> Flip over the top. I'm going to pay one life to exile. Oh my god, 
Come on. I don't need a nerd in his mind. Eldrazi Temple. Um, using Darksteel Monolith, I will play Metalwork Colossus for 11. Uh, this spell costs X less, that doesn't matter. I can sacrifice two artifacts, return it to the graveyard to my hand. That will proc um, Cascade Cascade, which will bring me a Solemn Silacrum. Um, and then the second one. Uh, that does matter. It does matter. I need to activate that now because it can change the top part of my deck. Um, in the order. So that will come. I will get a basic land. Find a waste. It goes into the battlefield tapped. Okay. What are you? Yeah. You're the thing that yeah. needs to be shuffled. Actually, no. It's still technically an exile, or, yeah. Okay, shuffled, then that goes to the bottom. Second Cascade, Cascade. Um, that was 11. This is not 11, so that's more than 11. It will be the Everflowing Chalice, which sucks oh. because <laughs> it's zero, and I can't even tap it for... Oh, that was a bad one. Fuck. <laughs> that was rough. Um, it was a whip and a half. Yeah. All right. Um, I will pay. I will pay as I like sit over here with two life and zero blockers, <laughs> mocking him. <laughs> I will pay. There's three. This will be four. I'm just gonna. I don't care about the counters on that. I'm not gonna use it. Um. Abtruse Archaic. It's a 3-4 with Vigilance. It has a tap ability for one. I can copy a target activated or triggered ability. Um, and so I will equip Swifty Boots to it, giving it haste. Um, move into combat. I will swing Cityscape at Daniel. Meteor at Daniel, Commander at Daniel, um, and uh, now I gotta swing something at. You're at two life. Okay, three. He's three, only at two. Three three at Ian. Eight eight at Daniel. Seven four at Daniel. Um, and then I'm going to tap this Hello. to tap one to trigger Cityscape a second time. Uh, Daniel. Um, you only have one thing on the battlefield, right? Your power stone and that. That's all I got. Yeah. Right, I will destroy. If you trigger an additional two, you're you're destroying the power stone and you're destroying yeah. the vampire. Yeah. So you're gonna make out with uh, two power stones. So Sean, in response, I'm gonna tap divining top, put oh. it on top of my library, draw this command tower, and uh, go to bed. All right. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Daniel, we got a seven four and an eight eight. So, 15, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, 18, and 7 of that was commander damage, right? Yes. 1, 2, 3. Uh, main phase 2, I am going to tap 3 to draw a card. Oh, God. Um... I am going to tap three here to play a Palladium Mirror. Um, and then I will pass. I really hope that that one uh, Kenesos damage winds up being relevant somehow now. I'm just really expecting like him to be like... He's got like a like... five mana, like, or a five damage burn spell from him. Yeah, that, that's exactly Fuck. what I'm expecting. You know, I wish I had that ability, but unfortunately I don't have that in the ready. Um, all I'm going to be able to do is two, three, one white, one black. 
Yes. And play Blood Baron of the Zopa, or Zopa, whatever you want to call it. Um, he has life link protection from white and black, irrelevant. Um, as long as you have 30 or more life, an opponent has 10 or less life. He gets plus six, plus six, and has flying, but I don't have 30 or more life. Um, but I don't have 30 or more life. I Close, but no no cigar. Do you want me to go through I the steps, or do you want to concede? Well, no. I mean, I might as well go ahead and die, okay. because you, you've, you've already won, my friend, because I don't have anything else to do past that point. Okay, so you can see yeah. Good well, game. no, I die. No, I, I die. You kill me at the next swing. There's no conceding. You killed uh, me. I'll I'll you... concede. Uh, Daniel, you win this match. <laughs> you killed me. You killed me. It's it's okay. In response to um, Sean, Sean conceding, conceding. <laughs> I'm, dude, I have been I have been awake since four thirty. I am bonking out right now. Uh, but in response to Sean conceding, can like Daniel res- or concede and then he loses? It's first a draw. Let's just. Just... <laughs> well, but, but he concedes, like his concede is a higher on the stack, so it resolves first, right? Yeah. And then it would exile. Yeah.